Welcome back to this channel on, uh, for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. Uh, you can find information about me at smartyworld.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smartyworld.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smartyworld.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smartyworld.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smartyworld.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam P on probability. Suppose that y1 less than or equal to y2 less than or equal to y3 denote the order statistics of a random sample x1, x2, x3 from a uniform distribution over the interval 0, 1. Um, which of the following is true of the conditional distribution of y2 given that y1 is equal to y1 and y3 is equal to y3? So the choices we have is uniform on the interval uh, y1 to y3, uniform on the interval 0, 1. It has a density function of this form, as you see here. It has a density function of the second form and the density function of this third form. And here is the solution. First, we note that given that y1 is equal to y1 and y3 is equal to y3, we must have that y2 is between y1 and y3 because these are other statistics. Secondly, we know that in general y1, y2, y3 uh, through yn are other statistics for a random sample uh, x1 through xn with pdf uh, fx when that's the case. Um, if these are other statistics, then the joint pdf of the other statistics is f sub y1 through yn of y1 through yn is equal to n factorial times f sub x of y1 uh, times f sub x of y2 and so on. Uh, where of course f, fx is the joint, uh, is, the, is the common PDF, uh, common probability density function. Um, in this case, the PDF of the underlying distribution is constant and equal to 1 uh, because we're dealing with uniform distribution on the interval 0, 1. Therefore, the joint density of the order statistics in this problem is f sub y1, y2, y3 of y1, y2, y3 is 3 factorial times 1 times 1 times 1, so that's 6. As this joint density of order statistics is constant, the joint distribution of these order statistics is uniform. As a result, the conditional distribution is also uniform, and it must be uniform over the interval y1 through y3, because we already determined that this is where the conditional PDF is positive. So, that's answer A. Please remember this is copyrighted material, the problem itself um, belongs to the Society of Actuaries. It's from an old uh, Society of Actuaries exam. Um, the solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.